Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play for Vintage Story. This is version 1.18 and we'll, let's just get right into this. So we're going to create a new world. Creepy village story. I don't like creepy. Foggy kingdom lands. Awesome village story. Sure. We're going to be doing wilderness survival to increase the difficulty of this game. But this time we're not going to be playing on permadeath. Because I did that in the last playthrough in version 1.16. And I found myself playing much more safer than usual, so I didn't take too many risks because I just didn't want to die. But here, we're going to be exploring the... Uh, I believe it's called the Resonance Ruins or something? It's basically the first big dungeon of the game. And let's just get past this screen. If I remember correctly, it was Trumpet and Voice Pitch is High, Confirm his Skin. And I'm going to be playing as a commoner because it doesn't have any positive or negative traits. Alright, let's go, GLHF. It is snowing. And we're going to start this playthrough with happy music. Where am I? I'm soaking wet. So, the sun is not out. I think the sun's over there. So, this is probably east. So, north, east, south, West, I'm guessing. Won't be able to confirm until we see the sun. Or, I guess we can see it. So it probably is those directions. But first, I need to get some tools. I need to find some flint. At least we're finding lots of food. Okay, we are in a conglomerate area. We have these conglomerate stones here. Now I need sticks. The first thing I want to do is uh, get my inventory up and running. Because right now, I have zero inventory slots. So the only thing I can carry is the stuff in my hotbar. And there's a trader over there. We're going to go over there and check him out. But I do need to get some sticks. Okay, this will do. Now I'm gonna make some knives. Uh, what? Oh yeah, I remember in the patch notes, uh, basically... You only make one knife this time around, but it's gonna be double its strength. So, in effect, I only need to have, like, one knife instead of two. If that makes sense. It's basically a slight buff. Let's put it that way. Now, what I'm looking for is 64 cattails. Unless they change the recipe, 64 cattails will give me uh, four hand baskets for my inventory, plus uh, 24 cattails for the storage. Gives me eight slots of storage that I can put down somewhere. So let's just go through this area, or maybe we should just head over to the trader. Oh, there's some cattails there. Like, let's get this out of the way first. Oh, look at that. I have an air bar. Like, you go swimming, the air bar appears. You, I guess if you're, if it runs out, you start taking damage. That's usually how it works. Oh yeah, another change they made is that now the water is basically its own, I guess, layer. Because now you have these conglomerate stones in the water and it doesn't overwrite the water block, so... I think that's the best way I could explain it at this time. But I hope you get what I mean. It's like you can have like something inside the water bit. What the hell is this? What is this? Hey, what is this? Is that fish? Come here, fish. Come here, fishy. Fishy, 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 fishy. Ooh, it's a salmon. 
Oh, yeah. Get oh, shit. Uh, uh. Taking damage. Okay, I have 21 cattails at this point in time. And just gotta remind myself, I'm moving away from the trader that I saw earlier. So once I have 64, I'll head over to the trader. Once I have 40, I can get all of my hand baskets, but I still want 24 just so I have some placeable uh, storage. But I also got to check the trader because the trader might also have storage as well. Usually it's those storage chests that have 16 slots each. Now, some of you are probably wondering why I'm not cutting down the cattail roots. And it's largely because it takes a long time, relatively speaking, to actually harvest them. Like, yeah, it's a source, like, it's a good source of, like, immediate, like, food. But I got plenty of food elsewhere. Like, the berries, and I also got the fish now, so... There's really no reason to be harvesting these roots just for the the uh, food. And there's a dead hen. Let's see if we can get some meat out of you. Oh, and before I forget... There we go. So we got our hand baskets. We now have 12 slots in our inventory. So at this point, we need 24 cattails for the storage. Now, eventually, I will be harvesting these cattail roots, just not now. Like, I want to be able to transplant these roots and put them in a nice formation so that I can easily harvest lots of these with a scythe. But that's going to be far, far into this playthrough. Alright, I need two more. And you know what? Get some of this stuff, the horsetail. We could use these for bandages. And let's just get 26 cattails now, because we need two for the bandages. Oh. Who's flint? I'll take these. And one more. Alright, there we go. And here we go. We got some bandages in case we get into combat. I should probably start eating these berries, shouldn't I? Gotta satisfy my hunger, but at the same time, I also need to increase my HP. I get that nutrition up. Oh, that looks like a ruin, except it's not. It's just this gravelly area here. Alright, let's get out of here. Now, ideally, I like to set up a temporary base around a trader. Just because, in addition to the storage I talked about earlier, I also want to be able to trade with them. Oops. Come on, harvest this. Hello, sheep. Here we go. There's a trader. 
And that collapsed. Nice. Alright, so just on the outside we have Resonator. Wooden table and barrel can Oh, I can actually use this barrel. Like I can't pick it up, but I can use it. Whoa. What the hell? Luxuries trader. Oh. Haven't seen you before you just wake up. I think so. Oh, good morning to you. Name's Alfonso. I roam around these parts finding and trading what I can. Anything to trade? Okay, so we can buy luxuries from this guy. I think he has like gold lanterns in his rotation here. And a chandelier, of course. So I can buy stuff from him. Not necessarily sell stuff, though. But what's this? Okay, we have lead in this area. Now with the lead, we can mix it with copper to make those plates. Oh, come on. You know what? I'm just going to collapse this. Okay, I want these blocks. There's like no blocks for me to pick up. Wow, this sucks. Okay, so... Get some basic tools out. Flint axe head. Okay, I'm gonna start working this area. And start just build my base up from here. Oops. Tool head has to be on top. Okay, I'm gonna start by clearing the area around the trader. Am I too close to the trader? No, I'm not. Okay. I was thinking because the tree was really close to the trader, it might actually, like, not register as a chop or prevent me from, like, mining it or something. I do want to dig around this area to get lots of dirt for the construction of my temporary house. Okay, I guess we can start getting dirt now. Oh, and I do want to collapse this. And this. Peek into this cave real quick. This is a dead end. I don't see any materials. So, I guess we can close this up. We don't need to be down there. I just want my temporary house to be around a trader. Just for convenience. Or maybe we can, like, move it a little bit closer to the water. Just so we can get some panning inside the house. Because I have no way of moving the water at this point in time. Like, I really don't like panning, but if there's nothing else for me to be doing during the night, then I might as well be panning. 
By the way, when is the next temporal storm? Seven days. Okay, so we actually have a lot of time before the first temporal storm. Lucky me. Oh, I actually need another shovel now. Let's just make, like, two shovels. Also need to eat a little bit as well. We'll just do that. Yeah, I'm thinking we can put it like right here. Oh, you should do something with seeds as well. Before five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That should be more than enough room for our needs. Two. Let's just put it like this. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. Then we'll make the doorway. What the hell? That is such a weird sound for pain. Okay, so it's 436. Just trimming this area over here. You know, might as well just put down the storage, like right here. Okay, we just need to fill in these walls now. Like, you know what? How about... I hear the wolf. How about I just start the fires now? Get some torches going as well. We'll do it like this. Also need some firewood. Chop these trees or these logs as well. Oh. Okay, next, let's use these sticks for torches. Where's my grass?
And then we also need a stick for uh, the fire starter. Two sticks. And grass. Or what? Oh, there it is. All right, so let's get these torches going. There we go. We don't need this anymore. We should put the rest of these in here as well. We don't need these feathers. We'll plant this thing right here. Oh, I heard the wolf in this direction. So, gotta be careful. Oh. Thought something was there. Now, one thing I want to do before the sun sets is find some clay. Because I do want to do some clay making. Oh, we got some peat here. Let's dig some peat. One stack, like we don't want that much. So we got this peat deposit here. That's good enough. Now I want to try to find some clay before sunset. That we we can get our clay working stuff going. Those are pigs. Okay, it's getting darker now. Like, I gotta hurry up and find that clay. Flaps this. Kind of hard to find it in on a flat surface here. Oh, I need to eat. Like, I didn't bring any torches with me, so I have to go back soon. Like, am I going to find any clay before night falls? Because keep in mind, I haven't memorized this area yet, so I can get lost. There's rabbits there. Okay, moving north a little bit. It's not going to be in this dry area here. Okay, so let's head back. Yeah, gravel area. What is this? Peridotite slate. What the hell is that thing over there? You know what? I'm not gonna go near it. Like, we don't have any like, clay around here. Okay, so this is gonna be a bit of a problem. At the very least, we got torches up. You know, I can do some panning. It's not what I wanted to be doing. Like, I wanted to do some clay forming during the night time, but... Don't really have clay here. Unless it's, like, around here. It's a lot of caves, though. So, we can always explore that a little bit later.
Hello, pigs. The trader was somewhere over here. Yeah, it's over there. So we don't have any nearby clay unless I missed it somehow. Okay, let's get inside. I just realized I still need more dirt. Like, my house doesn't even have walls. I didn't finish the house. But at the very least, the rift activity is calm, so I'm not going to be attacked. Unless the wolves start wandering around me. Okay, let's just finish this house real quick. Keep in mind, I don't have any weapons yet. We do have some medium fertility soil in this area. And we don't have a we don't have a door. Okay, let me just put some light around here. All right. So, let's go chop down a tree, I guess. It's still calm. So we're still good to go outside. It's when the rift activity is like low, medium, high, apocalyptic. That's when we get attacked by drifters. But when it's, when it's calm, nothing attacks us. Oh, fucking hell. Really? So ahead. Got to make a second axe. Oh, I can't believe this happened. So I went out without finishing my house. I don't really have a safe place to hole up yet. Well, I guess I can hide at the trader, but... Rather be doing something else, you know what I mean? Like, I can't really do anything in there. Oh wait, do you have like... A bunch of storages? Well... Th could have sworn I saw something. Like, I have to... You know what, I need to put some blocks here just so I can access you. Yeah, your storage chests are right here. Resonator, bookshelves, legacy. So I have three storages there that I can utilize if I absolutely need to. I can pretty much put stuff in here. Ooh, raw poultry? Like, I should... I should just burn these cinnamon ferns. And then we'll cook some raw poultry here. Oh, and I didn't mention this before, but they did change the models of some of these things. 